Thanks, Dan. <laughs> All right, Kristen is here. Mm -hmm. A little wet weather, windy, yeah. wet, windy weather, but warm weather. Yeah. But mild, yeah. Can't you feel that humidity in the air? And, and thankfully, the rain's going to hold off until tomorrow. So for everyone heading out to the football games tonight, it's really not looking bad at all. It's going to be really muggy, though. It could be a little muddy, too, because of how wet it has been and that moisture in the air, too, uh, getting a little dew on the grass. But temperatures in the mid to upper 60s as we go through the next couple of hours and then falling off only into the mid 60s by 11 o'clock. So really very mild temperatures for us this evening. And you can see mainly cloudy skies. Just a slight chance for a light shower. I think we'll be just fine without the rain gear tonight. Now tomorrow, a different story for you. So Ducks taking on Washington State and the game, uh, the kickoffs at 3 p.m. And we're going to be looking at Heavy showers rolling right through the valley right around that time, and we're going to continue to see those showers uh, from mid-afternoon until the evening, on and off. So it could be a soaker for a day, and we're going to be looking at winds coming in from the south about 15 to 25, occasionally gusting up near 30 and maybe even near 35 miles an hour. So it's going to be windy on top of all of that. So not a day you'll want to chance it without the rain gear. It's going to be pretty wet out there. 69 degrees right now, though, and again, not looking too bad. Temperatures up and down I-5, mid to upper 70s. In fact, we hit the low 80s in Eugene, central and eastern Oregon, many areas uh, topping down the 80s too. And we had a lot of sunshine there. Uh, we've had the clouds, but we still made it up to 71 degrees. And so temperatures will continue to stay mild. Your lows tonight down into the upper 50s and low 60s. So another 60 degree night ahead for us. We've already had a record numbers of number of those this year. So it's been a warm one. And we continue with that. Central and east a little cooler for you. Uh, eventually down into the 30s. Farther east, 40s for central Oregon. I think you'll see a cooler night, though, later in the weekend once this front sweeps on through. So the front's still off the coast. We have a few stray showers that have popped up just north of Portland right now. Uh, most of the action, though, is just staying well to our north. But we still have a system that's going to be rolling through to bring that front in, and that's going to bring in the heavy showers tomorrow. So I'll time it out for you. Here we are, 9 a.m. tomorrow. You can see some light rain popping up along the coast. We'll have a little bit of light rain here and there for the metro area. Meanwhile, east, a pretty nice-looking day. In fact, you'll stay dry most of the day. Um, uh, that is not going to be the case for the valley. Here we are, 3 o'clock here, and you can see those heavy showers that develop along the coast and the coast range. All that pushing on into the valley, that's when those winds are really going to start to pick up, and they move into the Cascades, too. As we go into the evening, we continue with lingering showers, but it does wind down overnight with just a few passing showers overnight tomorrow night. And by the time we get to Sunday, we're looking at temperatures uh, starting off in the 50s and then topping out right around 70 as we clear most of the rain out. So we're going to be looking at mainly dry conditions for your Sunday and maybe even a little sunshine by the end of the day. I think we'll still stay pretty gray for coastal areas, but at least the winds will calm down by the time we get into Sunday. Out there right now, Lincoln City on up towards Astoria and Tillamook. Winds have been gusting up near 35 miles an hour and higher. Tomorrow, the winds get even stronger. Strong winds and high seas. South-southwest winds gusting to 50 miles an hour and higher tomorrow for the coast. Winds taper off a little bit for Sunday, but those high seas remain. So if you're going to visit the coast, please be careful and keep your eyes at all times on the ocean because because those waves can roll on in pretty quickly. Uh, rain total forecast as we go to towards Sunday morning. So this is between really Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. We're looking at anywhere from a quarter of an inch to more than half an inch of rain in spots for the valley. Higher amounts the farther north you go, and perhaps even over an inch in some spots along coastal areas and for the coast range. So a wet one for us Saturday. Low to mid 60s for the coast. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s and windy for I-5 with showers. Central and east mostly cloudy by the end of the day, and then watching for a few scattered showers late in the day. Day and in the evening, temperatures still pretty warm. 70s, to even low 80s the farther east you go. By Sunday, we cool that down. Highs in the 60s and low 70s, but we warm it up for the valley as we get rid of the rain with highs in the low 70s there. Here's your seven day forecast, and we're looking at temperatures uh, really warming up next week. So the only day on the seven day that we're watching for rain is tomorrow. After that, we have another dry trend moving on in. I mean, there's a slight chance for a sprinkle or two early in the week, but that's going to be about it. Nothing measurable. And temperatures warm up. We're looking at highs getting into the middle and upper 70s by the time we get to middle and later next week. So that's gonna be not great very October like. Yeah. I'm gonna plant. So you're gonna plant that grass yeah, out in the rain tomorrow. Grow, grow, grow. All right, let's Gosh. see it. This is when we're supposed to be getting the start of the rain. Yeah, it is. It's very. It's gonna be very warm for this time of the year next week. Yeah. Okay, dear. Thank.